very long time ago, maybe 6,000 years, a fishing people came and settled on the waters of this lake. They are called the Mohana, the bird fishermen. Ramzan the Red calls him Kodu, little man. From now on, he's a new son for his clan. Ramzan the Red says that his family was the first to settle on this lake. But another family has always claimed that it was here long before. The family of Muhammad the Yellow. desired of birds. It brings honor and prosperity to the family that owns it. There are only two families in this village who know how to capture the pelican, Muhammad's and the Ramzan's. But so far this year, Muhammad the Yellow hasn't had the privilege. The Mohana have a passion for birds, their grace and their beauty. They need their presence always and everywhere. That is why they collect them. Each family has its own bird garden, a place outside the village where they can admire them and talk with them at leisure. The beauty of a garden lies in the art of finding a place for each bird, as in a painting. Ramzan the Red has asked his sons to enthrone little man like a king. In a few days, the pelicans will be gone. They come from Kazakhstan, 
and migrate to Arabia. On their way, they land for a mere three weeks on the lake. That is, if they land at all. Mohammed the Yellow has sworn he'll get one. And it's got nothing to do with Ramzan the Red. of the lake belong to Lord Zamindar. He owns every drop from the deepest waters to the unhealthiest swamps. He is the one who grants the fishing and hunting rights to the family. In exchange for granting the fishing rights, the Lord receives as tribute half of the fish caught and half the birds. Every year, he redistributes the most fish-abundant waters to the best fishermen. The weakest always get the poorest waters. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Hello, ma cha na na. Allah. Ah, dey khabar hai? Jiya. Pakki makki jada hai na? Wa pakki nila hai mera muklim pakki kona cha. Mujhe lay pakki na hai tu mat. Pakki da mera raat muklim safa khali mati hai. Aane mati hai wo ta id is Ramzan ka. It has been days since Mohammed the Yellow has fished or hunted. He has spent all his time hunting for a pelican. If he is unable to make a tribute, the Lord will either reduce his fishing territory or take it away altogether. Disgrace. It's always the same thing between Ramzan and Mohammed. It starts with taunts, but how it ends is anybody's guess. The whole village is involved, including the children, but no one dares say anything. The pelican is a most intelligent bird, but it is also one of the most dangerous. With one stab of his beak, little man can put out an eye. It takes several days to cajole the beast and power. 
a lot of power. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! When he accepts his new family, the bird becomes faithful and stops acting aggressively. It is then that Ramzan can bring him to the village and show him off to everyone as well as his own pride. Mohammed the Yellow won't make a step outside his home. He is sure that the villagers are all making fun of him with Ramzan. His sons have no other choice. As long as they don't have a pelican, Mohammed the Yellow forbids them to talk to other families. A question of dignity. And for a Mohana son, his father's word is law. It's a crisis in the village. The other families are cautious as cats. Their every move is judged by the two rivals, judged and remembered for later. When they were young, Ramzan and Mohammed were the best of friends, but their parents fell out. No one remembers why. The children moved apart and in time became enemies. Okay. 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 
This year, Mohammed won't have his pelican. He must give up trying and think about fishing to feed his family. The Mohanas say they learned everything they know from the birds, the art of fishing and hunting, and a lot of other things about life. So if they keep on capturing birds, it is to observe them, to imitate them. Captured birds attract the wild ones, and the cycle continues. Little man's presence reassures the wild ducks. Hunting is easier with him around. you <laughs> Ramzan has invited the dignitaries from the other villages to solemnly celebrate the pelican. Muhammad the Yellow has turned down his invitation, and Ramzan did nothing to make him change his mind. For Ramzan's son, it's going too far. Vanity blinds his father. <laughs> but when you are the son of a Mohana, you learn from birth to bend like a reed. <laughs> Old Ramzan the Red was right. His pelican was bound to attract another. Just a matter of time and patience. Oh. 
This new pelican will not pay for Ramzan the Red. The conflict has gone on long enough. Between the two families, feuds have always created more feuds. And as usual, it is the children who try to open the road to reconciliation. The pride of the elders is so great that the young ones have to learn the art of ruse. Migrating birds often get tangled up in the fishermen's nets, and this is the fishing territory of Mohammed the Yellow. Every year, the Zamindar organizes a race for the most important families of the lake. For the first time, Mohammed the Yellow's family has been excluded. With his new captive, no one can question his skill, and Mohammed the Yellow regains his full rights. Ramzan the Red can have no say in the matter. Gain full honor. Mohammed the Yellow has challenged Ramzan in the duel that is most highly prized by the Mohanas. Ramzan's and Muhammad's sons dream that this newfound peace has returned for a good long stay. But what can their fathers be dreaming of? 
ਕੋਈ ਅਸਾਂ ਕੋਲ ਵਧੀਆ ਨਹੀਂ ਦੇਣਾ ਉਹ ਤੇਰੇ ਆਪਣੇ